Okay, all right, we're back. Fifth annual symposium. I wanna give you guys a little taste of what you're missing. Tony is always here every year supporting the training and education, speaking here, uh, actually teaching classes, also showing off some of the fancy tools field pieces brought to the table. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, show me, tell me what you got. Hey, Bert. Hey, man. Thanks, man. Good to see you again. You too. All right, so this year we have something really new and really exciting. But let me start off in asking you, Bert, how much experience do you have removing valve cores? Oh, a lot of experience. Nice. Yes. Okay. Yes, a so, lot. So what are some pain points that you have experienced okay. taking valve cores out? Okay, taking valve cores out. Um, you never really know if you're getting the valve core out. Mm -hmm. um, so you take it out, you turn the valve, you open it up, you don't have the valve core, you start over and you're trying to feel it kind of wondering. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while you get blasted, you get surprised, the valve core did come out. Right. Just when you think it was never gonna come out, it comes out and shoots out right past you and yep. you realize, oh, oh, I mixed up the process. Yeah. Um, and you basically hit the new guy? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of times the new guy's not even doing it because it's that much of a struggle. Like, Absolutely. It's, a, it's tedious. And then you start to get a feel for it and you know when you have it half the time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. It's good because we spend a lot of time with contractors, technicians, and all that stuff, and we learn and understand all, all that stuff. So, we have developed a solution to basically all of the pain points that comes with removing a valve core from a service port okay. with our line of new VCRTs. Okay, so the fill piece line of new VCRTs, we have three different models, and the way that I call them is good, better, best. Okay, so when we'll did we start calling them VCRT? instead of just a valve core removal tool? Oh, wait. Because a valve core <laughs> removal tool is a mouthful <laughs> and you could just say VCRT. Yes, you could, okay. <laughs> when it came out of my mouth, it suddenly made sense. But it is interesting that you say that because valve VCRT core. is not a very common term to call these things yeah. that we've learned from technicians. Straighter remover. But, <laughs> yes, but we're gonna make it happen. All right, All absolutely. Right. So anyways. Tell me. So. Tell me more. Start with the good, we have the VC1. Okay, now the VC1 is probably most similar to what you're used to looking at okay. with the valve core removal tool, right? You have your fitting here, you have a side port to connect, you have yeah. your capture rod and a, a ball, ball valve. Okay. But one thing that's particularly nice about the VC1 and for all three uh, of these tools is, number one, that your fitting is swappable between quarter inch and oh five six gosh. and five sixteenth inch fittings. So, so you don't need two fittings anymore. Okay. Or, or two tools. Right. You could have one tool and you have your 5 16th inch fitting that okay. can just screw right onto it to go onto a mini split. Okay. So, so instead of making it longer with an exactly. extra extension, you can unscrew it, keep the size of your tool. Exactly. That's Precisely. Huge. Now, secondly, is we've actually made the capturing mechanism a lot better so that you don't drop it in the tool. Okay. How many VCRTs? Oh, wow. Can you do that with? That's hanging on to it. Oh, my gosh. Hang it up. Are you serious? Yep. On camera? Wow. Okay. That's so, great. So we've actually Will improved that out? capture mechanism. <laughs> It'll never come out once you get it. It's just stuck in there. No, you can pull it out. Okay. Um, but, wow. but, but we actually made a design that, that grabs onto the pin and, oh, okay. and holds onto the pin. So it's not a friction grab okay, like, right. on the, like on the wall of the pin. It pins in there and then it captures oh, okay. it. Okay, I see it. There's a little gasket. Yep. Yeah. There's a little okay. gasket in there. Nice. That hangs on to it. That's brilliant. Okay. And yeah. and so this is the most compact version in the field piece line to fit in those hard to reach places. Now you take one step up to the better is you have the VC1G mm -hmm. where you bring all of the benefits you get for the VC1, but we've added a sight glass here. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so no longer does the technician need to play the game of, did I get it? Yeah. Right? You, as you're pulling it out, you can view in the sight glass yeah. whether or not you have actually captured yeah. that uh, valve core so that with confidence you can pull it out and know that it's yeah. there and it's captured. And again, magnet on the back, mm -hmm. you stick it on the side of the unit. Like oh, are that you thing, serious? That thing is not coming off. Right, and it's so I don't have to go looking there. for the whole thing when I'm done. I mean, how nope. many times I set it down and it disappears? It rolls underneath the condenser. Gremlins, who knows? Yeah. You know? Um, so, yeah, so that was a big improvement. In addition to that, you get any benefit that you would get from a sight glass on a manifold, uh -huh. you would get the same benefit sure. here, right? Yep. You can see the full refrigerant, charging, liquid you gas. You can see if you're charging with liquid or if it's fully vapor. All that yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And 
you, you know how a lot of people are switching to probes mm -hmm. and not using manifolds as much, so you've lost the sight glass there. Right. But now you have a sight glass back even if you're gonna use wireless probes. Yeah, okay, nice. And so, finally you have the best, which is the VC2G. So you have the sight glass, you have all that fun stuff, but we've added a second ball valve here on your oh, side port. for your micron gauge. For your micron gauge, nice. right? So you know how some of the best practices we talk about that with your standard VCRT, you really want a ball valve here to isolate the micron gauge. Right. So we would teach to put another valve core removal tool on there, making mm -hmm. the tool bigger, and there's another potential leak source. With the VC2G, you have that ball valve integrated in, yeah. so you can isolate it, not contaminate it when you charge it back up, yeah. right? Um, so it just keeps your tool compact, small, and not have to get bigger to put other connections on there. Other thing that's nice is you have a pre-tensioner on both the VC2G and the VC1G that helps fight against the pressure that's pushing back okay. you know, from the system. Yeah. And we have this last thing that's called a comfort spinner on the back. So typically, when you're pushing against the pressure of the system, you have yeah. your finger here, and then it's just kind yeah. of making it harder for you to twist yeah. because you're pushing it here. You would now, only know that if you've been trying this. If exactly, you've been this. if yeah. you've been doing it. Yeah, so, 100 with, so with the comfort spinner, you can apply that pressure, it but spins. it still spins freely yeah. in there. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So when you are fighting the pressure of the system, it's a little easier to spin that in. Exactly. And also, just when you are fighting that pressure and it's awkward, it's hard to know if you're getting a straighter actually like over tightened or yes. if it's right where it needs to be because you're already pushing so hard. So making that a little bit easier, you're less likely to either under tighten or over tighten that straighter mm -hmm. core. Yeah, so the full line of Phil P's VCRTs, they are A2L compatible. They are vacuum rated down to 20 microns. Okay and they will be coming out in March. Okay, and they're vacuum rated. Are they also rated for pressure? Like if the system's running? Like Oh yeah, yeah. for sure, okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. there are the valves out there probes. that are only vacuum and like you're supposed to try, you're supposed to put the core in before, like mm, right after you break the vacuum and then they end up leaking if you try them under pressure for a few times. Okay. So that's but good, yeah, these good are to know. Both rated for positive and for negative pressures. Nice, awesome. Well, that's exciting. Um, just all the details of both convenience and some of the needs it addresses um, means that whoever was part of this design was getting their hands dirty and actually doing some stuff, I'm guessing you. Part of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah. most of it is our field piece engineers, our marketing okay. team and all that stuff. All right. Um, but so yeah, is this yeah, coming out of on this. is this coming out of some of the training that field piece is now taking on and, and doing? Yeah, for sure. So, you know, more of the training classes that we do, we talk with more technicians. Also, our marketing team gets out there a lot, does yeah. a bunch of surveys, does voice of the customer trips, ride okay. along, stuff yeah. like that to really understand like what the jobs are. And, you know, for the longest time, the way that we teach is to add another ball valve here, like on yeah. the side valve, yeah. and then everybody knows the game of did I get it. Yeah. It's it just makes sense. It just seems obvious to yeah, and implement then, those in. But it's just interesting, the details of like making it so that this actually can hang. Yep. Like that it cap captures that well. Or that you can change out the end, but not make it longer. Like you're not screwing in an adapter right. here. And so just the tiny details of that went in there is great. I love it. So yeah, that's that's pretty that's much awesome. the secret sauce of fill piece okay. is <laughs> understanding what the job is. Yeah and make a solution for it. Yeah, That's pretty much what we do. I love it. Awesome. Well, I, uh, I imagine you've been getting a lot of uh, attention. Absolutely. Because this is a place where it's mostly techs and I'm sure, I'm sure this is a huge hit. Great. Uh, what else? I mean, that's pretty much it. Okay. Um, all this stuff people are super already familiar with yep. and um, using already. I'm using the hoses already. Right? I okay. Like the, I like the hoses. How was your experience with the hoses? They were great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy to use. I haven't had I haven't had uh, any of the um, gaskets slip mm -hmm. out, slide out. Well, that's good. Yeah. Those kind. Of, <laughs> you, sometimes you get to new hose, and the first time that a little bit of pressure is released to that hose, the gasket goes flying. Okay. Um, so I put it under a couple different tests, and I like the hoses. I really good. like the hoses. So yeah. 
But that was kind of a new thing, right? Yes. Last yeah. Year. Yes. So this yeah. was last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, um, we have a range of charging they hoses. They look nice too. Vacuum hoses. They're all black, and they come with our unique color tag system. Yeah. So you have your blue, your red, and your yellow. And if one of your hoses were to actually go bad or mm -hmm. something like that, um, wholesaler maybe doesn't always have the color that you actually want sure you know to match up right so now you just buy a black hose and you just install your color tags on how you want it yeah um also with the new a2l refrigerants coming out we are already a head of the game with an adapter fitting that is designed for left-handed threading okay that the new a2l refrigerants are going to be coming with and their color code is going to be the gray and the red because that's how those refrigerant tanks are going to come gray with the red band on it yeah. so that you know which nice. fitting is for what. Yeah. So guys are really going to have to start learning righty loosey lefty tidy right. when yeah. it comes to these new A2L refrigerants. There's going to be some fun learning curves and a lot of lost refrigerant and yep. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. In that mix. Well great. Um, appreciate you coming out as yeah. always. It's a pleasure man. Yeah. Thanks for supporting what we're doing here. Absolutely. Yeah. We're and, miss uh, it. You guys, uh, hopefully next year you can actually get your ticket on time and join and come by and put your hands on some of the new stuff that Fuel Peace will have out there. So don't miss out. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast, available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications, available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.